All right, you guys, I've got it. B-dubs, Buffalo Wild Wings, brand new salted caramel barbecue wings. I can't wait, these things sound insane. I'm gonna find a spot, we're gonna park it, and I'm gonna check it out. Welcome back everybody to an all new Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host Justin. I'm super excited you guys because I'm here at Buffalo Wild Wings in Denver, Colorado at B-Dubs to check out something brand new. They're all new salted caramel buffalo wings. Now these things also are known as the salted caramel barbecue because of how they actually prepare the sauce. I will say these wings came out several years ago for the first time and they're just now being reintroduced for the summer of 2018. So they are here just for a very small limited time. They combine Buffalo Wild Wings signature honey barbecue sauce, which is always on the menu and they toss it along with caramel and sea salt to make the salted caramel barbecue wings. I know it sounds insane, right? Salt and caramel. Usually you think of that on like maybe popcorn or in like a Starbucks Frappuccino, but in this case they drizzled it right on top of some poultry and they've spun it into chicken wings. I got it. The salted caramel B-dubs chicken wings. I can't wait. This is going to be insane. Let's go ahead and take a look at these suckers while you can. Again, for a limited time. There they are. Now, obviously I got a small, this is a, what they call a snack size, which is a five piece. And this is kind of a snack, right? It's just five wings here, but you can see right on top, the glazing, including the salt, obviously. And it looks, it smells, and it feels like caramel. I feel like I'm about to eat a candy apple with salt on top. Now, of course we all know that there's savory tastes and flavors that really bring out sort of that umami feel inside of your mouth. And those are all sort of combined here. You have salt, sweet, savory. There's uh, you know protein in there. It should be a very satisfying, hopefully, chicken meal. I've even heard this sort of referred to as like chicken and waffles almost because it's sort of sweet, like maple syrup. Let me show you this here. <laughs> <laughs> the salted caramel chicken wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. That is 100% salt and tons of caramel mixed in with their honey barbecue sauce. Let's grab a flat. It's my least favorite of the two. I'm more of a drumstick kind of guy, but I'm going to take one for the team here and go in on it on a first bite. Big bite! Cheers. <laughs> and it's absolutely no joke 100% genuine caramel mm. on top of my chicken wings <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. and you get a little hints of the salt in there as well it kind of plays on your tongue that's actually kind of a fun wing and why wouldn't you want to be in a fun mood to order salted caramel barbecue anything it totally feels like fair food here. This is like something I would imagine seeing at a food truck at a carnival, salted caramel buffalo wings. <laughs> you can get these right now at your local B-dubs, like I said, for a limited time. The price, you'll have to excuse my saucy fingers, it was $6.99 <laughs> plus tax. Let's try a drumstick again. Look at all the sauce down on the bottom. It is sticky too. I mean, the viscousness of this, viscousness of this is pretty on par with what you would expect, like honey and caramel to sort of create. Mm. It tastes like a candy apple. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It tastes like I'm eating a caramel, you know what I'm talking about? Like a caramel candied apple from the fair. Really, truly, I don't even know that I taste the, the barbecue sensation at all. It really just tastes like a uh, caramel dipped chicken wing with some sea salt on it. 
Mm. God, it works though. Again, to harken back to that chicken and waffle sensation, you get like the chicken and the maple syrup thing. You know what I mean? So we already know that works, but they've done it with caramel. And I think that barbecue, that honey barbecue sauce is just sort of in there to break it up because of course caramel by itself is super thick, super rich, very, very sweet. That honey barbecue sort of tames down that really thick, almost molasses-like nature that caramel is. It makes it so it's a, you know, a viable sauce to sort of dress these with. They did give me, well, that it's even got my name on it, yeah, boy, uh, some blue cheese and ranch, but I think that I may skip the blue cheese and ranch because I don't know how blue cheese and ranch would taste on a caramel, salted caramel chicken wing. I mean, do you guys just want me to try it? All right, okay, you talked me into it. Let's go for the ranch first. I actually really detest ranch with buffalo wings. I'm a big blue cheese kind of guy, but you guys know here on the channel, I don't like to customize, add anything, take anything off. I like to take things exactly as they are because I know many of you have different eating habits than me hopefully. <laughs> and so because of that, I try to be semi-neutral here. So here's the salted caramel B-dubs wing in ranch for your creamy, drippy coated pleasure. Nice thick ranch. It is nice and cool to the touch. I can feel it through the container. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Mm. No, it completely negates and cancels out the caramel flavor. I mean, the wing isn't bad, but it just then tastes like salty ranch. You don't get that sensation of the sweetness. And the ranch doesn't taste bad. It's, it's decent ranch, it's just not a good combination. This is gonna be with the blue cheese. You can see how nice and thick. I'm a big blue cheese fan. Again, the salted caramel barbecue wing some of that thick old rich blue cheese on there. Let's do it, big bite, cheers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, again, drowns out the overall flavor. I can taste the caramel a little more with the blue cheese. But these aren't the kind of wings that you would want to eat with anything other than this delicious, absolutely, probably semi, mostly fattening uh, caramel sauce. Instead, you're gonna wanna drown it, dredge it, and drench it into all of the leftover sauce here at the bottom. I mean, that is just absolutely like straight up caramel, man. It is super sweet, super rich. We're gonna get a bunch of it on here. Because I think I'm ready to rate these these caramel, salted caramel wings here from B Dubs again, only for a limited time. Between you know the taste, the value, and the overall appeal, you're paying about a buck fifty a wing at B Dubs, which is a little on the higher echelon of prices, but still pretty decent wings, good size. They're nice and hot and fresh, and of course the atmosphere inside of B Dubs is not that dissimilar of that of Hooters. So you know you're in good company while you're sitting and waiting for your overpriced fried chicken to cook. But I think here on a scale of one to 10, I would have to give these wings, I don't know, man, they're, they're kind of weird. I'm gonna give them like a six and a half. I, I think that's pretty fair. They're above average, they're definitely strange, but they don't taste bad. They just wouldn't be my go-to chicken wings, certainly. But they were fun, they're a novelty. It does kind of remind me of that chicken and waffles type of maple syrup flavor. So still a decent wing, had a lot of fun getting these. But I think I'm ready to do it here. A last bite. Big bite! Thanks again, everybody, for checking out another great review here on Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. You know you love it. You came back for some more of it. I'll be back for another fast food review. Let's do it. Big bite! You hear the crunch? Oh, I think that's a tooth.